and welcome to another video and today I'm really excited because I got some new hardware and this hardware is actually given by my current employer Textalk they make web shops uh, where the main focus is to be an easy web shop to get work uh, going but it's not expensive so it's affordable and also very good functionality and where I actually work we take a lot of different media newspapers books magazines we convert them from the original media and create e-papers and e-sites and also create material outputs to different formats and in that conversion I make a lot take a lot of PDFs and extract text and also do compression on the PDFs because when you want to create images of those PDFs later on it will take a lot of time is the, if the PDFs contains a lot of complex structures so in order to test that it when you have a lot of PDFs to test that takes a long time so my employer said okay we will uh, buy you some hardware where you can run these tests on more machines and I already always wanted to have a Raspberry Pi cluster so they actually bought me a couple of Raspberry Pis and also somewhere to actually put them and in this case I have my own rack behind me I got an PoE switch I had already planned to buy this hardware but TikTok was kind enough to actually buy it for me so let's switch over to my overhead cam here so let's look at what we have here we have Elrond the old server it will be a part of this and then we have two new servers here we have Marigold and Arundir and I'm not really sure which is which but it doesn't really uh, matter so those are going into these eight gigabytes uh, of Raspberry Pi computers let's see if we can focus on those and then we will have these PoE hats on those and last but not least I have this rack mount for five um, Raspberry Pis and I haven't seen this yet so let's open this box op first I haven't looked at the Raspberry Pis either but those I have seen Raspberry Pis of course and I think this PoE hat is a new one as well so that might be a different case altogether how to actually put it in and I didn't buy any extra mounting hardware or screws or anything like that so let's hope there, there is something in this package to actually use it uh, or else I will need to buy more screws <clears throat> so let's see here um, some kind of plastic wrap let's that one out of here uh, yeah. bubbles bubbles okay so there are these screw holes at least and there is a bunch of screws here but nothing more okay <laughs> uh, that is and we also got some extra of these plastic plugs because those could actually uh, break I guess so you should be able to just pull these out like this and let's not hope that we break them and then we get a tray so we will put our raspberry pies into these trays and i actually removed the ones that i didn't uh, want to use because i think i will put them on this side so let's take a couple of these out i need three of them for eldron Marigold and Aladdin. So now we can put that away and let's see what we can do here. This one could be a little bit complicated. Let's look into the other ones, what we got there. Maybe I need to just use the hat as is and not have any extra uh, screws to push it down. That could be a, a a way to do it and uh, let's see how this hat comes together they actually have mounting hardware for screwing through which is a good one so these might work just 
as is. So that's good. And so let's put some boxes away. And the last Raspberry Pi here. There we go. And another box. So I think I have everything I need here. Let's look at these uh, hats and see how they look. Do we have any way of tearing these apart? We do like that. So this is another design than the one that I'm currently using. Ah, get out of there. Plastic. So, okay, so it's a bit taller than those I'm using at the moment. This is much smaller. So I wonder if this tall one will be a problem here. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually not possible to use the rack mount with these tall ones. That's a little bit annoying. Yeah, so I have to screw them into the actual plating then and keep them there. So this one I can actually pull out, but that has the other problem of <laughs> not being able to um, screw it down correctly. And the other ones are too tall. Yeah, so uh, I learned something today. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, let's put these ones to get uh, back in then. And I need to pull the full rack out if I need to pull a Raspberry Pi out, but that, that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. So let's see how we do this. If we take one of these and pull out the mounting hardware here. So if I take this one and then push it through like this, because in the back back end here, I just want it to be screwed in with this bolt, this nut, like that. And at the front, I want to put it into the actual rail. So let's see if that works. If they are threaded th threaded the same way, or if they are different. Let's hope they're not. So let's put it in here. And push it through there. Like that. Let's see if I can. Yes. It seems to be th uh, threaded the right way. Like that. Then I should be able to put one of these on top here, Jesus, these are tall. And we also have this kind of small display here. And I think there is a film over this display because there is some kind of pull thing here. Let's pull that plastic off. I will not see that display. Not possible in the rack. I just hope that this will at least be not taller than one U. Uh, so push lightly down on this one, see if we can get it down. There we go. And, and then we should be able to screw it down. Um, I think I need to fetch my small screwdrivers. So let's see here. Let's take this one first. I think that works well. Otherwise, I would use the other kit. I've used it kit, this kit so many times now. So uh, I'm very used to it. Yeah. So that seems to work just fine. Hmm. I 
wonder if I want to use this hat or if I need to switch over to the other one because this is not the best solution and this hat is not the standard one but you can actually turn off and on the fan here so you have a switch for the fan which is interesting so it has a bunch of features I will give them that so let's see here have another one of these did we have here? We had more screws and we had more of those plastic things. I'll not be using those at the moment. So let's see if we can disassemble this and reuse. I think we can remove that rail by now and focus on Elrond, the last one. The memory card is in the back, so that's good. So you can actually put Arendir and uh, Marigold into place later on. So if you can push this off without breaking any pins or it's a tight fit. like all the pins are fine. Now I need to remove this stand off the front here. Because we don't want to use that the sled instead. Are the Raspberry Pi 3 shorter? Than four? It seems like it. Like the, the Pi is not going all the way to the edge here as the four did. And it also seems like the screws are a bit larger, right? Or is it just me? No, it's just me. Yeah. Tighten that up. And tighten the last one. So now I will not be needing that one. Uh, back to this piece here. I will not be needing this these short stands. And I will not be needing the extra two screws here. So let's see if we can put the hat back on without damaging anything. There we go. Much easier to put on than take off. So not having all the screws in there I think that should be just fine, as tight as the fit of these components are. I don't see any reason why there should be any problem with not having all the screws there. There we go. 
as new. So let's put the, take this rail out. So the reason I would have had this is to be able to put it in and then just snap it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have three of them. Nice. Actually a little bit. Yeah, they're a lot different. So let's see here. This might be marigold. And let's see which should be this way, right? Put that in. And then we have Arendir. Take that out. Now I just can mount this into my rack, screw it in and put some networks cable in and it should just work. And I'll get back to you when I'm done and hopefully it just works. And we're back and they are installed in the rack behind me with a little bit of double sided tape or a tape with this kind of hook and loop kind of solution um, so I can actually put them up under there um, both the power brick and the actual PUE switch and I also have all the network cables but you see that the uh, it's, a, it's a mess I have two long network cables and if AliExpress gets their ducks in a row and actually send me some cables I can solve that problem but that is for a later date they just worked it was amazing. I just put in the network cables and they started up. I have logged into them. They are just fine and I can actually start using them now. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you learned something or at least saw these kind of products and got some ideas about what uh, you wanted to do with your home lab. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you had the same problem as me and got a PoE hat that was way too tall, leave a comment about that or anything else that you are quest uh, curious about in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that and I really hope to see you in the next video.